In this tutorial, uh, we're going to look at paper space viewports and scaling them to whatever custom scale that you might need. Uh, you may be aware that there's scales that are already set in AutoCAD, but uh, sometimes they're not, um, well, not what we need. So, what we're looking at here is a viewport that's scaled at 1 to 100. So, before we can do anything, we need to ensure our viewport isn't locked. So, select our viewport right click and go up to display locked and click on no okay now next thing we're going to do is select the viewport again right click and go down and bring up our properties menu okay now here we go over to our properties menu come down we can see that we're at standard scale of 1 to 100 and we have all these scales that are already in there um, now None of those might be good for us. We might want something, um, yeah, well, maybe a bit higher, like a 1 to 200 or 1 to 250. So to do it, it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, open up your calculator. And all we need to do is say that we want a scale of uh, 1 to 200. We'll type the number 1, and we'll divide that by 200. And we've got 0 0.005. So we go back to AutoCAD, select our viewport, and if we go to the properties window, we've got custom scale. If we click in there, type 0 0.005, we've now scaled our viewport to 1 to 200. So if we look at that again at the calculator, and say we want a scale of, well, even something that uh, we would normally have, say 1 to 80. So we want divide by 80 is 0 0.0125 so we put 0 0.0125 in the custom button and that's scaled 1 to 80 I know it's not a standard scale that we'd use but it's just to show for an example now that's good if you've got a later version of AutoCAD with that uh, custom box there in the properties but if you have an earlier version of AutoCAD you won't have that option so what you need to do is double click inside your viewport and if we get our calcula calculator open again and say 1 divided by uh, 250 this time so that would be a scale of 1 to 250 we've got 0 0.004 so we go back to AutoCAD ensuring we double click inside our viewport and we type zoom or the letter Z for zoom and then enter then we type point zero zero four, and then the letters XP after it. That'll also scale our viewport to the correct scale. So that's now scaled at one to two fifty. Um, I hope that tutorial has been helpful. Uh, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head that I need to tell you about that. Uh, but if you have any other questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section, and I'll do the best to answer them for you. Thanks.